Hey there, my viewers. It is the host here, Team Ray. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news and other wrestling topics I love to share with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this amazing discussion. Here goes nothing. Now, a few months ago, or maybe a few weeks ago, that I discuss a possibility this match is going to take place at a mania, okay? I don't know when it's going to take place at the time and all that good stuff. Now, what I'm talking about is the UFC women, like Ronda Rousey and her women of that era, you know, in that division. And on the other hand, the W of a woman of today, you know? I don't know if it's going to be Raw and SmackDown joining forces. Or maybe SmackDown Live versus UFC women of today. Not really too sure. And that's all I gotta say. But I guess there's a new report, and probably a lot of you know already because I'm kind of behind. That's okay. Is no more rumors. It's going to freaking happen at WrestleMania, okay? In New Orleans. But, like I said before, I wanna say it again. Rumors could always change, you know? You know, maybe someone pissed someone off backstage and then they gotta s scrap the idea. It happens in the past and it's gonna happen again. I think this is could be a great thing, especially Ron Rousey is so freaking huge, you know, more popular than than the other women of today of the I mean that's just my opinion. I know a lot of you are gonna hate me for saying that, but I have my I have my right have my own opinion. So she's a mega superstar in UFC so they bring her over then you get more glamour on like from ESPN of course WWE and ESPN they work together. Maybe NBC or ABC or any other website they wanna have an a discussion about this so this might be a good thing I don't know when is this gonna happen I'm assuming maybe the end of this month no not the end of the month I'm sorry the end of this year or maybe the beginning of 2018 to start their rivalry with a match for WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans so let's see what happens so ever since Ron Rousey um, did a awesome thing at WrestleMania 31 against uh, Stephanie McMahon and that every one thought it's gonna take place the following Mania but she was still under contract with UFC I prefer that you know a one-on-one -on -one match because one last time Stephanie McMahon had a one-on-one -on -one match I don't think she ever had one that Mania maybe she won maybe one day she will so I'm okay with this I'm assuming that Charlotte Flair will be probably the leader of the pack and I don't know if it's be like Beck Lynch or Sasha Banks or I don't know how it's gonna work out. Maybe like the four or the four horsemen of the NXT era. You know, I don't really pay attention. So I know you're gonna say I don't know my wrestling stuff. Hey, I'm just taking a wild guess, okay? So of course this would be a great um marketing name. Because people from UFC wants to check out this match, people from WWE wants to check out this match. Now, do you think I want to ask you a question? Do you think it's, it's gonna make the main card, or do you think it's gonna be on a pre-show, or when it comes on DVD or Blu-ray, do you think they're gonna cut it like they did last year for the cruiserweight match? You know that was very disappointed, especially the people who collect still collect DVDs and Blu-rays. Well, WWE don't make Blu-rays anymore because I guess it's too expensive to make. But um, they cut they cut back on stuff. But hopefully it doesn't get cut. Hopefully it makes the main card because in my eyes, and I want to say it again, the pre-show is like a it is a warm up thing. But who really wants to stay and watch the freaking pre-show? They want to um, um, walk around the the football arena or hang out with their friends. You don't want to go to your seat right away, do? You? Maybe, maybe not. You know. But I'm not a really big fan of the pre-show. It hasn't been good in a long time, in my eyes. So I'll put the article down below. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a 3-on-3 three three, uh, elimination women match. Or it might be like a one fall for the decision and it might be in it. 
I'm thinking it should be like an elimination match to make it make the ladies have more time at WrestleMania. So I'm assuming maybe a Ronda Rousey will have a awesome entrance. Same thing for Charlotte Flair, but no pyro this time, no fireworks because they uh, are on budget cuts, and that is not cool in my eyes. I think they should just do it for WrestleMania or do it for the big for WrestleMania, Sabrina's SummerSlam, and the Royal Rumble. The other ones they could save money, you know. They don't do it for every um, match like they did it for um, last year, WrestleMania 33. Every time when a lady comes out, fireworks come out, pyro, say Jesus. I think that really was a nail in the coffin. And especially they do it for Raw. Every single Raw, every single Smackin' Live. But they could do it. But they just don't do it every single big event, you know? Or every sing every big uh, match. So if you like this discussion, give it a thumbs up. If you hate this thing with a passion, don't give me no no f thumbs up. Probably you're going to give me a thumbs down because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Like I said before, I'm going to say again like a broken record. I do it my way. If you don't like the way I do it, then you could just listen somewhere else on the internet. Okay, I'm not the best um, host. Probably you got to give like Y2J is better or any big celebrity. I'm just an average Joe on YouTube. But if you're new to this YouTube channel, if you want to give me a chance, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification. Have a good one, and I'll be back. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, I'll be back.